Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today I want to show you a program that I use to annotate student papers in Blackboard called PicPic. It's very easy to find. Just Google PicPic like you see here. And I'll just click this. And as you can see you can get the free download here uh, or you can buy a copy of it. Personally I go to download and I download the portable version. Uh, this is the program that I have to use when I'm at work because my work does not allow me to install software but I can download this portable version, unzip it and run it just from the unzipped folder. So you just click that, unzip it and so on and go and double click on the pick pick file and you're good to go. So that's how you get pick pick. Now I'm going to close this and I actually have a copy of pick pick running. Okay. But before I use pick pick, I have to come into Blackboard. This is me, so you're not actually seeing a student. And the first thing you have to do is click this little arrow key to move this over or generally pick pick will not work. So then if I come back here and I just click scrolling window and once you do that then I would come here and click this and as you can see it scrolls down and then brings pick pick up as a capture so I'm just gonna push this all the way out and as you can see we can come down here and I can go home and you can see you have a bunch of options here including draw so if I want to I can take a marker and I could like circle stuff okay so I can write that. If I don't like to write, you can actually use a text box here. Oops. Wrong thing. I gotta click text box. There we go. And I can just type in what do you whoops you mean the virus or the antibodies we could say uh, if I want to I can just do that and that makes it a little easier click that okay if you want there's also stamps so if I want to tell them not to put something somewhere, I could do that. Or if I wanted to, I could pick a different stamp, like this. And I could say, you know, point to something. I'll show you that I did get the whole document here. So let me show you this. So if I need to annotate further down. Obviously, I can. Let's see, I want to circle that, circle that, circle that. Take a stamp. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Okay. So now let's say I want to share this. I want it to be an attachment for the student. Now, what I've found is the easiest thing to do is to come over here and share and use my FTP server. So I have my own, obviously, website. And I, if I come here in options, you can see there's my FTP server. There's my remote path, my username. But this is what makes it easier. So what I did is I type in the URL, and PicPic will plug in the file name at the end. So as you can see, this up here ends up down here and it copies the URL to the clipboard. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So then if I click OK and I come back to share, all I have to do is click this and it transfers the file up. Okay. So let's finish let's let that finish. Okay, so then I close this, I come back here, I scroll up, right, 
click on this and you can see I already have one here but let me get rid of that so you can see what it'll actually look like I clip th click this and all I have to do is click source URL come into here control V for paste submit and that's it it's done it's attached so there's an image that the student can look at of what I've marked up and then I just click submit and then it'll move me on. I'm not going to click submit because if I click submit it'll take me to the next student and I don't want you to really see that student's stuff because it hasn't been graded yet. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can use PickPick Pick to mark up student papers quickly and easily. I am Michael Langdon and hello from the Learning Engineer. Bye.